Good afternoon and welcome to a WNCT Now digital news update. I'm Kayla Schmidt. We are beginning this update with a developing story out of Onslow County. The county commissioner's regular meeting tonight is canceled because several commissioners and other people were at a recent meeting with North Carolina Senator Tom Tillis. The first term senator announced Friday he's positive for COVID-19. Tillis appeared at campaign events in Jacksonville last Tuesday and Greenville on Wednesday. Onslow County officials say they don't know the exact number of commissioners who were at the Jacksonville event with Tillis last week. They say the commissioners were at that event on their own and not representing the county. Officials say canceling tonight's commissioners meeting is the most prudent decision. The wife of Democratic presidential nominee Joe Biden will be in the East tomorrow as a part of their campaign. Dr. Jill Biden will appear at a midday get out the vote rally at Pitt Community College in Winterville. It's a part of a push to energize local supporters ahead of October 15th, the start of early voting. Later tomorrow, Biden will head to Fayetteville for another rally and meet with veterans and military families. Nine on your side will have complete coverage of Dr. Biden's visit tomorrow on WNCT and WNCT.com. Staying on the election trail, Another person from President Trump's administration has tested positive for COVID-19, the White House press secretary. Kaylee McCann issued a statement this morning saying she has the virus but is not showing any symptoms. She says she is going into quarantine. Her positive test comes four days after President Trump and First Lady Melania Trump announced they tested positive. In her announcement, she says she did not know of Hope Hicks' positive diagnosis when she was at the White House media briefing on Thursday. We're going to take a quick break and be right back with some local news. Stay with me. I'm your first alert meteorologist, Alex Wasilenko. You know, this year has been filled with a lot of uncertainty and many changes too. Here at Nine on Your Side Morning Edition, we're going through some changes of our own, but one thing that will never change, our commitment to you. To be on your side and to help you start your day with your local news and local weather. In Jacksonville and Onslow County, good morning to you folks. Grab the umbrella, Nine on Your Side Morning Edition, weekdays from 4.30 to 7.00. Welcome back to your early digital news update. I'm Kayla Schmidt. We are continuing with local news. In Duplin County, two people are in the hospital for injuries after a head-on crash. It happened just after 9 o'clock last night on Highway 24, just outside Keenansville. County officials say a driver heading the wrong way in the eastbound lanes collided with a passenger near Gunman Grumman, excuse me, Powell Road. Officials say one person was pinned inside a vehicle and airlifted to a trauma center. The second person was taken to Vidant Duplin Hospital. Newburn police say a delivery driver was killed in a single vehicle crash in the city. It happened just before six last night on News Boulevard near Bosch Boulevard. A FedEx truck driven by 63 year old Spencer Wilson crossed the center lane and collided with several trees. Powell was pronounced dead at the scene. That is all for your first WNCT Now digital news update. Make sure you tune in with me at four for more news before the newscast. Thanks for watching.